So the end of the move journey is almost complete. Here's our house here. It's Alice up the top there. Your place kind of looks like a Colombian drug lord's house and we're just currently waiting for the removalist truck to arrive and then we'll be in. All right, so we have officially arrived. Welcome to the new hood. This is Gindia Drive or I call it Garmin Hill because this is where they do the famous Noosa Triathlon. And we officially moved in a couple of days ago. Our place is in Pridgian Beach, just down the road from Noosa. Oh, I better back it off, I can't speak properly. And it's been a massive week. Really significant for the Nichols family, but we're in. And you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this scenery over the next year, two, three, maybe forever. So in this video, what I wanted to do was firstly thank all those people that have supported the channel. We had 5,000 channel supporters the other day, which is bloody magnificent. A lot of hard work and effort on this channel is paying dividend by people seeing the content supporting the channel. So I wanted to thank you all. And also to explain what we're gonna be doing on this channel over the next couple of months in terms of planned content. So those two dogs there, I was just riding along this beautiful sort of country style road. There's hardly anything ever going on here. It's like 7.20 a.m. on what is it, Thursday morning. And they just came running out of this driveway and charging at me on the road. One of them's actually pretty big. I don't know if you can see that one, like over there. Sounding pretty aggressive. So I just stopped and picked up my bike and I was I was going to whack them with it if they came any closer, and I think they realised and they buggered off. But uh, welcome to the new cycling environment. Just for any dog lovers out there, pet lovers, I just want to be clear that I've got a dog and I love pets. And the only reason why I got off my bike and was about to use it as potentially a weapon was purely in self-defence. I would never want to harm an animal, but if it's going to come rip my leg off, different story. But I just wanted to be clear about that. Yeah, so plan content on this channel for the next sort of month or so before the end of the year. I've actually got quite a lot of Melbourne content still up my sleeve. I've shot it. I just haven't produced it and edited it and all that kind of stuff. So I've got a chat with Hannah McDougall coming up. She's a para-athlete. That's at Omara Cycles. Then we've got one with Tommy Nankervis. We actually sit down and we examine my one of my Glenvale crits, the full crit, and we... Tommy's sort of giving me tips and advice and things I should and shouldn't be doing. So that's coming up. We've also got uh, a chat with Rob Eva from SRAM. Um, I'm on the fence with disc brakes. I understand the performance levels, but the fact that there just seems to be a lot of issues happening with them, I'm a bit skeptical, but he's right on board disc and he's quite insightful. He's got a lot of good insight. So we're gonna do a bit of a rim versus disc video with him and Lastly, but certainly not least, I was sleeping in an altitude tent for, I think it was a, a month, four weeks, and I took a blood test before and a blood test afterwards, and the results are compelling. Now, my crit results weren't compelling. I was all right, I was up there, I was, I was racing, I was feeling good, I was in the mix, but crit racing isn't about how fit you are, it's about how well you play your cards, and I've got a little bit to learn there, but in terms of how strong I felt on the bike, I was another level. So I'm going to have a deep dive on sleeping and attitude and performance gains. And I think that'll probably take us to the end of the year. And then we'll do another one of these little videos early Jan and we can talk about future content on this YouTube channel in 2019. So I'm pretty much back in my new hood now. It's wrapping up almost 100 Ks. And to finish up this little video, once again, just wanted to thank all the channel supporters. Really means a lot. And I wanted to share something with you all. This is a, this will be a, the first time people have seen it outside of the uh, the Bike Chaser team. And a lot of my subscribers will know that I've shared a bit of Bike Chaser content on this YouTube channel in the past. And Bike Chaser is a marketplace for cycling products that I run. And we've sort of really struggled over the years to be different, create a differentiator to the big player in the market, Bike Exchange. And the reason for that is marketplaces are just really hard to get going. You need to have the technology platform right, then you need to have users, which is for us bike shops, using the platform, getting products up. And then you need to have traffic 
on the marketplace which essentially delivers leads and inquiries to users and value. So that's taken quite some time to get going. Now, the thing is we've, we're sort of humming a little bit now, so we're now looking for ways to differentiate ourselves. And this is coming in 2019. We've partnered with a company called Parcel, which is kind of like Uber Eats, but for in everything that's not food. And what's essentially gonna be happening next year is we're gonna have people that can pick up items from bike shops and deliver it on their way home. Even commuting cyclists, which is what you're gonna see in this video. And the idea is that the, uh, the person delivering the item, they earn $10 for delivering an item on their way home or on their way somewhere. And the person that purchases the item, they pay $15. So it's a little bit on the expensive side, but you get it same day. And I've trialed this myself. I got it literally within hours of placing the order. So this is gonna give bike shops the ability to compete online, because they can't compete on price, but if they can compete on service delivery, then potentially could be a big thing. So I'd be keen to get your thoughts in the below description area, and I'll catch you in the next video. Hey, I'm gonna go for a ride with the boys this evening and I just realized that um, I need new tires. So I'm gonna pop down the street and get one. The boys, it's time to take the girls to Bali tonight. It's your turn. Oh, f But, you know if you want anything bike related, Bike Chaser can deliver same day, right? Good one.